Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Uh, currently running, so if you guys hear me panting a little bit, it's just my, uh, it's just me taking a quick break. Um, before I start the video, I do want to say like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and then uh, if you want to join the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash but I'm not a trader. Currently, right now, the Patreon sits at $10 a month. When I switch to my website, which will be soon, that will be minimum 750 bucks. <laughs> so if you guys want to switch over before, that will be fantastic. If not, then you know you guys all still get you guys still get the great content from um you know that i've always had um all the videos everything else so we'll see what's going on but let's get into uh the video spy had a massive massive drop from yesterday to today's open right so we close around that 450 massive drop to this um to the support on the daily and the weekly right so you have really 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 solid support here on on the daily and the weekly um levels at 445 and you keep bouncing off this level you keep bouncing off this trend so as of right now i would not be surprised to see 447 uh break if we keep pushing up um as of right now it does look like you might actually because of this recent move right now does look like you would push back the trend here but keep in mind from here you could go up to 447 and then completely die right there's two scenarios that can happen right here um longing should have come in right at this trend plus support i would not recommend longing now because you would only run it from 447 to 4477 so it's not really a good risk right risk reward but as of right now this is what i can see doing right if you come back back up to 450 449 ish i would definitely short from here depending on the triggers if you break below this trend, I can almost guarantee you <clears throat> that you'll drop down, probably retest here at 445, and then you'll continue the downtrend at 442. So I would not do anything right now. What you should have done is you should have longed right there on that support. And I would here either short there, or when you come back on this retest, I would short right there, right? So that's your three points of what to do so far as of right now i am currently in longs i'm going to be riding this all the way up to 447 then adjusting my stops and if this breaks to the upside i'll probably run this all the way up to trend if a trend breaks right you have another major trend at 451 at 451 you no longer have any trends nothing so if 451 breaks right this last trend up here on the four hour chances are right if you come up here right you have really really good trend support or trend resistance here so you could drop down again um but again a lot of things that can happen today um personally i don't know what direction we will be going because the daily is still bullish right you closed bullish yesterday i would technically be long in this whole area right this whole area i would just like pile into longs just martingale longs martingale longs martingale longs because that daily is bullish right and on the daily you rarely get these perfect entries right very rarely so keep in mind this is where we are right right here august 14th you closed the last time you had a perfect entry like this right you ran from around 394 to highs of 407 right so about 13 bucks before having a massive drop personally i think that's what that's that's what might happen this time i think we might actually push up and then have a really nice drop right so i think that's what's going to happen but keep in mind every single time you've hit that stochastic lows you've had really nice rallies towards the upside so again this is either the start of a really 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 big rally or you know we're going to from right here you're essentially going to push up somewhere to these trends and then you're going to drop down super hard which is what i'm guessing i think we're going to pump up and then we're going to drop really hard for right now you know you're still pretty bullish right so i would definitely like i said i would have longed here at open you're probably going to be still under major daily resistance at 447 i mean even if you look at spy right let's look at spy right spy is oh yeah spy is above spy is above 445 so what i'm looking for here at open is i'm looking for this to come back down right and then a perfect entry on the five minute to trigger and if you're above this 445.70 
uh, support and that five minute perfect entry closes, I would 100% take this long back up to 448. So that's basically what I would do. I am still uh, bullish towards the upside as long as that daily is there, right? And now we can go in and look for, we already did big tech, but let's look for, you know, what, what I think is gonna happen for like medium sized tech, right? So Baba, definitely think Baba's gonna drop. Um, next major level is probably here at 91 bucks. But as of right now, I would not be surprised to see this fill gap at that 83. So I would 100% short Baba right now, right? Because I do think it's gonna go down to fill that gap, right? Even on the weekly, the weekly just closed bearish. I would 100% take shorts on Baba all the way down. Where's that? Where's that daily? All the way down to fill this gap at 84 bucks, which I do think is going to happen for PLTR. Oh, there we go. Same thing for PLTR. The daily is about to go bullish. You did not break um, this low support of like 15 bucks. So I would definitely give it. Um, let me see. Yeah, you bounced off of here. So I would have to do like a full. Let me see what we can do for like a quick analysis because I am taking too long of a break on my run, right? And I, I don't like taking too many breaks on my runs. Right, right there. You had nice, nice push from here. Resistance and then more resistance, right? So these are going to be, this is your major, major area for the daily, right? You probably have some more somewhere like right there. I'm not going to go that deep into it, but if that daily closes, I'd 100% I'd say long PLTR. So I definitely think PLTR is probably headed back to like 18 bucks. Um, I'd definitely be very interested at long in PLTR. Where's the four hour? Four hours bullish, the six hour bullish, the eight hour bullish. Yeah, as soon as the eight hour starts going, I definitely look into longing. Uh, if you break the 16, right? The $16 mark, I can definitely see us going back to 18 bucks. So PLTR, I would say a nice, nice jump to 18 bucks. AMC, pretty sad to see it drop this low, right? I don't really personally care about AMC, but again, AMC is going to keep shitting the bed. It's going to keep going lower. Um, you might, you're probably going to fill this gap. So maybe a month or two month out calls to fill this gap, because I can almost guarantee you that gap's going to fill relatively soon. Disney, I like Disney for shares right on the monthly you're about to go bullish on the monthly right so i definitely be longing everything on disney nothing but shares nothing but shares i had 100 percent buy so many shares especially because i'm pretty sure this is weekly support i'm pretty sure i did disney on the weekly support so right here 100 percent i would long disney on the on the share side right and the neo neo if you look at the four hour because you know oh yeah i would long neo here Especially because you're on that support, you haven't broken support here at 12 bucks, right? That 12, like 38 or so. I would definitely look at longing Neo here, again, possibly back to that open gap at 1450. So with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day and good luck. Bye bye.